Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, you like cars, you like automotive, think about hitting that subscribe button. Uh, I got a lot more videos coming. Uh, just got back from SEMA about a week ago. Finally got readjusted to that three hour time change uh, back in Kansas. So here a few months ago, I did a video on ethanol. Is it worth it? What kind of fuel economy savings do you get? Uh, if you haven't seen that video, you can check it out right here. Put the link. Questions I've been getting about that video are how to know how much ethanol is in your fuel. Um, does the gas station tell you? Is there a way you could check it at home? Uh, so that's what today's video is going to be about. Kind of walk you through the process, how to check it. It's pretty easy once you know what you're doing. So uh, with that, let's get started. Now there's a couple ways you can go about this. Of course the easiest is going to be just check with your gas station that you're getting fuel from. It'll be labeled on the pump. You can, you can ask them. They'll let you know what the ethanol content is. But there's going to be a lot of scenarios where uh, they might not even know. The fuel they might be getting might not be what it's supposed to be. Or for you guys that work on cars, might have a car come through that you need to check the ethanol on, see if it's part of the runnability problems you're having. Lots of different scenarios. Personally, I like to check the gas I have around that I put in the lawnmowers, the weed eaters, the motorcycles, especially things that are going to get stored all winter long. I want to make sure there's no ethanol uh, in that fuel. So that's just another scenario where this method can be used. So most of the time your pump is going to have a some kind of label. It says may contain ethanol. That's how you know that uh, it's got ethanol in that fuel. A lot of fuel stations also offer no ethanol fuel. And they'll have that labeled separately. Alright, so to test the ethanol content in the fuel, I've just got my test tube here so I can get my measurements. I've got some gas and then I've just got some water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 50 milliliters into my test tube of fuel. And then I'm going to put about 10 milliliters of water in with it. Mix it all together. And what will happen is the water and the ethanol will separate out from the gas. Now, um, this can be done with any amount of fuel. Um, the amount of water you put in really doesn't matter that much either. Uh, you just want to make sure that at the end you are doing your math correctly. We have to subtract the amount of water that we added to the test tube. An easy rule of thumb is to just use 2 milliliters of water for every 10 milliliters of fuel you're, you're testing. So there we've got our 50 milliliters of gas. I'm going to come back and add 10 milliliters of water. Then what we're going to do is we're going to shake this up really good. Then we're going to allow that to set for about 15 minutes to see how much uh, water and ethanol separate from that fuel. Alright, so we let this settle out for about 15 minutes. And it looks like minus the 10 milliliters of water we added, we've got almost 6 milliliters of ethanol that separated out with it. So this fuel that is advertised 
as 10% ethanol is actually looking to be closer to 12%. Since we started with 50 milliliters of fuel, each milliliter of ethanol would equate to 2% ethanol content. This test was a perfect example that you may not be getting the fuel that you think you are. It's a quick, easy test you can do at home. So until next time, see you guys.